It's time to wink, pinch, and headbang. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. If you see someone testing out the Google Glass headgear and they start blinking their eyes rapidly and pinching the air, don't be alarmed. This could be a normal way to use the wearable computer. Some interesting phrasing of code was discovered in the My Glass companion app, such as the phrase, eye gestures wink take photo, which means you might be able to blink to take a photo, and browser two finger zoom, which could mean moving a thumb and index finger to zoom in and out. There's also code labeled head gestures head wake. So maybe you shake your head a certain way and it'll wake up the device. We'll find out soon enough as the first units start to be shipped out to testers and developers. Nokia wants you to get excited about a new smartphone with a physical keyboard. That's right, kids. Phone makers still see a market for phones with real keyboards. And Nokia is teasing that it will release one soon with this mysteriously cropped picture of a bright yellow phone. Nokia will release more info about it on Wednesday. Tis the season for keyboards. BlackBerry's new Q10 with a keyboard will also be arriving soon. TweetDeck apps have a death date. On May 7th, TweetDeck apps for Apple and Android devices, as well as the Adobe desktop program, will cease to work. That gives you two weeks to get used to a replacement Twitter management app like Hootsuite or use the browser version. If you use the Tumblr app to keep up with your favorite blogs and animated GIFs, you'll start to see advertisements for the first time. The ads are similar to Twitter's promoted tweets or Facebook's sponsored stories. On Tumblr, the paid post will have a sponsored label with a dollar sign icon. Here are some new apps that might make your life easier. Take a look at Brightnest. It's free for Apple devices. It tracks the household chores that you always forget about, like replacing the air conditioner filter and checking those smoke alarm batteries. The app reminds you to schedule home maintenance jobs, but it also offers neat tips on how to save energy, save money, or save space with creative tips. It's a good way to kick off a spring cleaning weekend. There's also a new Yahoo app for Apple devices, and you might like it if you're someone who just wants to quickly scan headlines from around the web. If you turn on the visual option, the app will show headlines on top of the main photo of the story, and the app uses new technology that can summarize the text of the story into one paragraph without any human interaction. But you can click the headline to read the full story. The app also has improved video and image search. Yahoo has been putting lots of energy into mobile lately. That's your tech news update. You can find more details at cnet.com slash update, and you can follow along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.